I immediately make my way to Guyana. Lying just above the equator at the top of South America, Guyana is a wild, little-known place. Almost the entire country is jungle. I've been here once before, but Guyana's river system is so extensive, I've barely scratched the surface. It's the perfect place for a giant to hide. My journey starts in the capital, Georgetown. I'm heading to the fish market to see what the locals know about the attack. En route, I re-examine Roosevelt's journal. President Roosevelt was constantly warned about this fish. The local people feared it a great deal, and he's pretty detailed in his description. He says this is a grayish white fish over nine feet long with the usual disproportionately large head and gaping mouth. And one chilling detail, it occasionally makes prey of man. It's a claim that I still hear throughout South America over a hundred years on. But the evidence I need, a man-sized Lao Lao, has so far proven impossible for me to catch. All I want is some little lead, something to follow up. Guyana is a melting pot of cultures and ethnicities, but as a former British colony, English is widely spoken. I pick my way through the market, taking every opportunity to quiz people about this elusive giant. Do you ever have Lao Lao come here? Yes, we had all the fish okay. in this size. And this is a long time ago? Uh, late last year. So he's saying he saw a fish last year that was getting on for the size of this table from the end here up to pretty much where the woman is standing. Very good news, they're still around, big ones. But I won't allow myself to get too excited just yet. I want to know if anyone else has seen one of these giants. Do you, do you ever see them in here? Not on the coast, right. but inland. Yeah. We find them inland. And they can get really huge, but the big ones are rare. Are people afraid of them at all? Yeah, yeah. they're dangerous. Because they're catfish, they have a big mouth, so they just like... A really big one, like a 10 or a 12 footer and swallow a human. Have you heard any stories of people being attacked, being swallowed? Yes. You hear about people getting attacked? Recently, two boys were fishing in a canoe, fish with bow and arrow, and something hit the boat. And one of them was thrown overboard. Grabbed him on his leg. They had to rush the boy for medical attention. He went back into his village probably about a week ago. So it's possible that, that, that if I'm in that area, if I ask around, I might even be able to, to, yes. to, to meet the boys or something? Yes. 